Hi everyone, it's Mio here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute baby seal from Needle Wool. This character is a little more complex from my other projects, but it's still a very easy character to make. It just requires a lot of time and effort. I made this seal actually from a needle felting kit I received from one of my friends in New York City. And the instructions are all in Japanese, but I will show you guys how I ended up making this anyways. And if you can see from the actual package itself, my seal looks a little bit different. I modified it a little bit to look more like Mamagoma. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and for more like these, please subscribe! So this is what the kit looks like. As you can see, it actually comes with two characters and enough material to make both of them. You get some eyelets and a lot of different colored felting wools to make all the finer details of your characters. This is a Japanese felting needle kit, so all the instructions are in Japanese. However, the nice thing is that they have a lot of images and diagrams, so you kind of follow along even though you can't really read Japanese. In addition to this kit, you're going to need a sponge, and you're going to need a felting needle, which is not a normal needle. It's used specifically for you to needle felt. I'm taking the large piece of wool, and I'm measuring out the body of my seal. You will need a rectangular piece about 17 centimeters long, and the width to be about 10 centimeters tall. Once you're done cutting out your square, you're going to fold the top one-third of your belt and roll it into a nice little hot dog shape. The thicker part of the wool is going to form the head of the seal and the other part is going to form the bottom. Take your needle and go ahead and poke this all throughout the bottom to help hold this piece together. If you notice on the pictures, the tail kind of tapers down before it comes into a nice little fin. So what you're going to do is take your needle and poke several small holes all over your felting wool so that it forms this nice little taper on the very bottom. The more times you poke through the felting wool, the smaller the wool contracts and it will generally form into the shape that you want it to be. This process takes a lot of time even though it's actually a very simple task to perform. And if you're ever worried about the shape, just compare it along the diagram. To form the heart-shaped fin at the very bottom, just take your needle and poke it in between the little tapered ends so that it looks like a heart on the very bottom. This is what the body looks like for me so far. So I'm going to form the fins now. I'm just taking some smaller pieces of wool and cut them into two pieces. Kind of eyeball the size and you're just going to take your felting needle and again have at it. I'm going to make this into a slight triangular shape. You want to make sure each of the fins look identical to the other ones so that they look really nice and even. This kit comes with a nicer white wool that's very silky and soft. And this wool is actually used to cover the body that you just made. I don't think they gave you enough just to form the characters alone. So that's why they gave you this cheaper wool to form the base of the body and this nicer wool to cover it up. It's a self-explanatory process. Just take your felting needle to help stick this nice wool onto the body. Just make sure you cover up all the spots so that there's no empty spaces where you can see the formal wool at. To make my character look a little more like Mamagoma, I'm going to give it some nice puffy cheeks. So along the bottom half of the body, I'm going to needle felt this part in so it forms a nice little dent so that you can see the cheeks on the very top poof out. So as you can see, the head is really poofy and the body is more flat so it has some nice poofy cheeks. Go ahead and attach your fins onto both sides of the body and to do that you just need your felting needle to help attach this down. Alright, so once you're done attaching the fins, we're going to shape the top part of his face. And again, I'm going to shape out his nice round cheeks by flattening the forehead a bit so that the cheeks poof out of his body. All you need to do now is give it a nice little cute face. So I'm taking some gray wool and I'm poking this gently onto the center of its cheeks to give me an idea where the nose will be. I'm just using this as a reference so I know where to place the eyes. I'm using the animal eyes instead of the eyelets that I usually make. I'm using the one from the kit. And as you can see, I actually have to push pretty hard in order for this to go all the way in. With a small tuft of light blue wool, you're going to place this on the center where the nose was and attach this down to give the face a little bit of coloration. This will make it look more like Mamagoma. Once you're happy with it, put the nose back on top and go ahead and needle felt this down permanently so it doesn't come off. Take some gray felt and roll this in between your fingers to form a long thin snake. This is going to be used to form its adorable little mouth. 
Since my seal is designed to look like Namagoma, this is what the mouth I've chosen to look like. And to give my seal a little more color, I'm just taking some light pink felting wool, taking two pieces and I'm putting this on the cheeks to give the cheeks a nice little blush color. Just make sure that when you're doing this, you use the needle very, very gently so you don't change the shape of the seal's cheeks. With some light blue wool, you're gonna roll this into a nice little dish shape. Use your needle to felt this down. To give you guys a sense of reference, my little hat is actually about the size of a nickel. If you're unsure of the size of your hat, because your seal might be a different size, just periodically place this on top of the seal so you kind of get a reference as to how large this end up being. Once you're happy with the size, take a white colored piece of wool and make this into a smaller discus. It's going to be smaller than the light blue one that you just made. And it's also going to be flatter. This is going to form the little top poof on the very top of the sailor hat. Once you're done attaching the two together, all you have to do is decorate your sailor hat. So I'm going to form two little long white lines along the sailor hat so it has kind of more of a nautical theme to it. The center of the hat, I formed the little anchor that the little nautical hat has. I'm just eyeballing how the anchor is going to look like. I of course based my anchor to look exactly like the one on the actual package itself. But if you want your anchor to be a little bit different, that's fine. There are a lot of different variations of how anchor should look. Alright, after my finishing touches, I just attached the hat on top of my seal and your little character is all done. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. For more like these, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I have a lot of other craft tutorials that you guys can check out, so be sure to browse through my other videos. I want to give a big shout out and thanks to my girl at NYC for giving me this kit. And I hope you guys enjoy doing this. If you end up making this, you can share it with me on Instagram. My username is FlyingMio. And good luck crafting away, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!